I had a squeeze bottle of Thousand Island dressing on my right hip, coming out of a holster, just going boom, 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 done. Ding, 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 ding. I've worked with people who went to culinary school who don't know what a Reuben sandwich is. What's a Reuben? I don't know what a Reuben, Reuben sandwich? I don't know. A classic Reuben sandwich is easy to make, but like all easy things, it is easy to fuck it up. Now if you order a Reuben, you don't know what in the hell you're gonna get. I also took this opportunity to season my skillet. Lightly oil it and put it in the oven at 550 degrees for about 30 minutes. Take it out, oil it again, put it back in for 30 minutes. Oil it again, put it back in for 30 minutes. Oil it again, and put it back in for 30 minutes. It's kind of like a rap song. Oil it again, put it in for 30 minutes. Oil it again, put it in for 30 minutes. Oil it again, put it in for 30 minutes. Oil it again, put it in for 30 minutes. It was developed by Arthur Rubin in 1914 in his delicatessen in New York City. Marbled rye bread, corned beef, Swiss cheese, Thousand Island dressing, and sauerkraut. That's it. It's 2022, and I do not forget. Its ingredients are simple. Not on white bread. No turkey. Not on sourdough bread. Not made with roast beef. Not made with kettle beef. Not made with Velveeta and ranch dressing. The biggest mistake I've seen ever in making it is not grilling it long enough. I've probably grilled at least 100,000 of these things in my life. I've done the math. In my earlier years, I used to sit in front of a grill and just stare at mounds of corned beef and a pile of sauerkraut over in the corner and rows and columns of rye bread sitting there toasting with Swiss cheese on them. It was great. Let that baby sit there and toast for as long as you care. Just make sure you don't let the heat too high or you'll burn it. I love them. The longer they sit on the skillet and toast and you flip them back and forth, the better. It's probably my favorite sandwich of all time. I like it so it's crunchy. It's like when you put it in your mouth and it almost hurts your teeth. Like, ow, but it's good. Done. Ding, 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 ding. Pick it up and it goes like this. I know I'm in for a good meal. Delicious.